The hurricane force winds moved into the Dominican Republic Monday morning as the unrelenting rain continued to cause flash flooding in Puerto Rico, even washing away a bridge in one town. Emergency workers in Loiza, on the northeastern coast of Puerto Rico, kept telling people to evacuate their homes. The mayor of Loiza went door to door as well. This area here, Villa Santa, is the area we are most worried about, the mayor said. You could see the water rising in backyards as one woman worried about her pet. Southern Puerto Rico was especially hard hit. Lila Mejia, a New Yorker who responded to Hurricane Maria in 2017, received a little bit of news Sunday night. A lot of rain, mudslides, you see bridges coming down, roads being damaged, houses being flooded. The same kind of devastation that we saw during Hurricane Maria. The deadly Maria hit the island five years ago this week as a Category 4 hurricane that killed 3,000 people and destroyed Puerto Rico's power grid. Mejia's neighbor has a mother on the island facing down Fiona. Her mother had told her that Hurricane Maria came in through the night quickly. This hurricane, however, is taking its time going through. It's bad because we have a lot of mountains in, in Puerto Rico. Um, and with all the saturation of the rain, the foundations are not always so solid. President Biden issued a message Monday to the people of Puerto Rico using the White House Spanish language Twitter account, La Casa Blanca. Jill and I hold the people of Puerto Rico in our prayers as Hurricane Fiona passes over your beautiful island. We stand with you and we will get through this together. Maria caused $100 billion in damage and 3,000 homes still don't have permanent roofs five years later. Thousands on the island flew to New York for a safe haven when Maria pummeled the island in 2017. <laughs> Lila Mejia said she had not heard from any friend or relative Monday. And I'm assuming that I'm not going to hear back for another couple of days. I fear that this is another, this is another Maria. The Guanaiba River in Puerto Rico rose 17 feet on Sunday to more than 29 feet of water, overflowing its banks when it hit 21 feet. More than a million people are still without power on the island.